Are you guys tired of lugging around notebooks every time you want to go out and do PMs? So am I. So today, we're going to cover paperless processes. Coming up next on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're gonna take a look into the world of paperless processes, and it all starts right here. This is Google Drive. We're gonna create some forms, we're gonna use those forms as templates to do PMs, we're gonna record those results on a spreadsheet, and then copy the results from the spreadsheet into a work order. So let's take a look. It all starts right here at the Google Drive. Over here on the left of Google Drive, there's a new button. When you click on new, you can do a new Google Doc, spreadsheets, slides, etc. We're going to do a new Google Doc. And this is going to be a database template. So when you create your new database template, it will look something like this. This right here is an ESUPM, and this is the editing side. So you can see if I wanted to change a field, I could do it immediately. There's mandatory fields. Over here are your options. You can add items, you can add video, you can add sections. Like this right here is a section. It's a part of the PM, which is basically when you walk up to the device, you're recording its information, and then you move on to the monopolar test, the bipolar test, ligature, argon, plasma test. But this is a generic PM. And the cool thing about these PMs is you can use these on a iPad, you can use them on a laptop, a desktop, you can even do them off your telephone. And the other cool thing about these PMs is you can have more than one user using the exact same file at the exact same time. Normally, if you're sharing a file like a template that's found on a share drive, you're going to run into a conflict when one user is currently running it or editing it and another user wants to use it. That is not a problem with Google Drive. So when you're done editing, over here, there is a little preview button. You can see it? it looks like an eyeball right there. When you click on the preview, it takes you to your actual PM, which is this one right here. And this is exactly how you would see it in the field if you were using a laptop. It's obviously formatted a little bit differently if you're using a mobile device like a telephone. As you can see here, It'll tell you this is a required field and you cannot proceed with the PM until you fill it out. I have electrical safety check and equipment ID as mandatory fields on this page. When you're all done with the PM, it will go to a spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet looks a lot like this. These are actual results from PMs. You can see that the fields will have titles at the top and your data is down here. Well, that might suffice if you want to copy and paste into a work order and press on, which is normally how I would close these out, is you copy the data that's in the spreadsheet. I'm going to select line 35 and you go right click copy. And then I'm going to copy those and I'm going to paste those in a work order. But as you can see over here, you're just going to get pass, 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 pass with your field labels not included with the result. So what I did is I created another tab which you can see right here. And let's see if I can zoom in so you can see the actual result. See how it says technician initials, serial number, and then it gives the serial number, item ID. You can see right here, I'll go up to the formula bar. You can see equals concatenate, form response, this field, form response, this field. So what it's doing is it takes the first field, which is your title, and then it adds the data to the title. So that's what concatenate means, is that you're adding two of them together. You're basically treating it as two words in conjunction. So serial number, blah, item ID, blah. And you can see as we go through, physical inspection pass, there we go, pads expiration date, ECG electrode. So we would copy that line like this, and it would have the field and the data. 
see like this button right here. Let's go over and see what it says. Equals concatenate the title of the column and the data from the cell. I can show you guys this later if you really want more data on it. Most people that I've shown this to, they will just come back here to the main form. And you can see that they just copy these. Copy that one, copy it over, paste it in the notes, and you're good. There's a couple cool things about using Google Forms. The data is always saved. It's on a cloud, it's never going to be gone. So you can see here, this is from 2018, the data is still here. I can look back on a historical record and I can tell you exactly what this particular Zoll was doing. So I have a historical record. As you close the work orders out, what I was having my guys do is highlight the whole entire row and then come over here and paint the whole row a certain color. like. Here you can see these ones are blue, and then this one here was turned yellow because there was something going on with an item in this record. And by coloring it yellow, it stands out and it says, hey, this needs a little bit more info. And you can see there's various other units all the way down. Look at this, it's down to April 29th of 2020. People are still using this form. This is from a couple of hospitals ago, and people still have access to this form. They're still using it. But it's the same thing with the ESU. And you can probably see from various other spreadsheets that I have. You can see here, I was even doing one for an electrical safety PM. And I was using this one here to train people on muscle memory on how to do a correct electrical safety PM or a physical inspection PM. So this walks them through step by step. And you can see that there will be descriptions that I'll type in too. So if there's a certain key combination that you have to do to activate a menu or something, it'll be in the description, like right here, hardwired, and I put a, a sub description that says equipment is wired directly to the wall box, corded, removable, and non-removable cords, and obviously they're going to have different results based on the, the type of electrical supply. But you can use these forms any way you want, and they're free. I encourage people to utilize them because it's a great way to standardize your PM program. There, you can see that this one was actually experimental. And Google gives you a lot of data that you can check up on as well. So you can see here that the cord is clean, a case is free of cracks, and it'll give you a percentage of the units that have met that criteria. So Google has a lot of cool metrics that you can go into. Once you start filling out these and you have a history of questions and results, but these are just a few of the items that I have currently set up for paperless processes. I can edit from my phone and I can do the PM from my phone. It automatically comes in here to a spreadsheet where I'll come into the spreadsheet results, copy it, paste it into my work order notes, close that work order and be done with it. And in fact, I have better documentation in my work orders than most people will ever do because this is a, a tailor-made PM for that specific device. A lot of work order maintenance programs will have a generic template which doesn't exactly relate to a specific device. Let's take a look down here. Over here, patient return electrode, use decade box, less than 35 ohms and greater than 135 ohms. That are the two limits where you should start seeing alarms. Down here, the monopolar test, the subnote says the load is usually 300 ohms. So those little subnotes really help people out because all they got to do is walk through the PM step by step by step, fill in the data, press on, and then submit it at the very end and go to the very next device. So that's all I have for you guys today. That is my idea for paperless processes. Let's get rid of that paperwork. Let's start doing our stuff online so we have a historical record and we can standardize the inspections. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. Please stay tuned. I'm going to have some big news very soon and I hope to share it with you all. Thanks for watching.